ever had a friend come to you and tell you a story about another friend? They, they rush up to you and, or call you and be like, oh my gosh, I have to tell you what so-and-so did. I can't believe that they did this. I'm so annoyed at them. And you hear and you're like, oh my gosh, poor friend A, I can't believe what friend B did to you. No wonder you're so upset with them. And then you're enraged on their behalf. Well, then friend B calls you saying their side of the story of what friend A did. And you go, you're thinking to friend B, oh my gosh, I can't believe friend A did that to you. You were wronged. No wonder you're so upset. And now you're like, well, which one was right? Well, based on perspective, they were both right. Perspective is how you view or interpret an, an event, an accounting. Um, and you're drawing upon your past experiences, your opinions, your thoughts, your, your beliefs and all of that. And they, they view, they taint or they filter um, how you interpret what happened. And generally in events, we don't interpret things where we were at fault, usually oh, somebody else's fault. So what historians are tasked with doing is getting all of these different accounts on an event and filtering through the feelings, the emotions, the biases, the personal perspectives, and finding out the, the facts, the objective truths to kind of be able to get a timeline and a series of events and know what happened then realizing there's always feelings to it. Um, but those don't necessarily help us have a historical account. So the historian kind of filters out those feelings. So what this task, this perspective narrative assignment is about is letting you practice what that's like. You have your version of a story, but how were you interpreted by others? By doing this, it, it can make you a more open-minded person. It can let you understand how your actions might affect others and being more sensitive to others' actions affecting you and maybe realizing, oh, maybe my feelings are hurt or, or that was amazing, but maybe, maybe they didn't mean to do that and I shouldn't interpret it so judgmentally and that's that's obviously going on around a lot right now if you you know watch the news where everybody's judging each other so uh it's it's good to just have this awareness of there's there's more than one interpretation or perspective uh, or viewpoint of an event so what i want you to do is think of an event in your life it doesn't have to be anything big or major but it needs to involve you and somebody else. I want you to give your, I want you to tell the story about how you experienced this event. Then get out of your shoes and get in the other person's shoes and say the story from their side. So when you're that other person, you use the I, oh, I can't believe so-and-so did this or oh, I was really hoping that they would do this and they didn't. So you are that other person. You are giving your firsthand account. So you kind of have to use your imagination to how they might have felt about that situation. So an example would be me trying to help my daughter learn how to ride a bike. All right. Oh, I just had three Zoom meetings today and a bunch of grading. I am exhausted. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I hear my daughter knock at the door. I bet she's coming after me to see if I can help her ride her bike. She refuses to have training wheels, so I have to hold her up, and my back hurts from holding her up and running sideways after just a few minutes, and she just keeps wanting to do this, and, and I want to help her, but God, it's exhausting. <sighs> All right, well, let's do this. Okay, so that's my start. Then I'm going to now be my daughter. Is mom done working yet? I really, really want to ride my bike. I'm getting so much better at it. I barely need her to hold on at all. I'm figuring it out. I'm so strong and capable and it's awesome. I'm going to go check on her. Do, do, do. I knock on the door. Mommy. She says I can come in. 
Mom, can, can you help me ride my bike? You're so good at it. I'm crossing my fingers. I hope she helps. I hope she helps. She says she will. Yes, my mom's the best. I'm going to be the best bike rider forever. She loves helping me out, and she tells me what a good job I do. Yay, going to ride my bike. All right, that's perspective two. So I, as the adult, being all too wrapped up in responsibility, just think, oh, this is exhausting. I don't want to do it. Whereas the kid, all she thinks of is the excitement and the, the learning and the getting to do something with her mom, and she's all happy about that. Same event. Kid comes to ask to be able to ride her bike. The feelings about that event are completely different based on how each person is approaching the situation. So I want you to do that. It can be any event in your life, big, small, whatever, but make it a story told by two different authors, okay? Um, it only needs to be at least a substantial paragraph. Don't give me just, oh, I did this and I did this and I didn't like that. That's not much detail. Let me know what the story is, the event, and then see it from the other side. 